Okay, this is ITS uh, 148, and uh, today is, uh, you know, the 23rd of, of uh, April, and, and uh, we only have a couple days left, so, um, uh, so I've, I've posted up a simple assignment 10, which is just uh, basically doing the same thing that we did um, um, do, do, doing the same thing that we did for assignment nine, except for um, except for doing the same thing or doing as much as you can in in a um, in an SQL database. So uh, and 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 you only have to do basically what we covered in chapter 18. So so uh, so you don't have to create any new forms or anything. Just use the features that are available with the SQL interface, where you drag, you know, you drag the table over. You you select the form that you want, select the control that you want, and drag the table over. Uh, the hard part. See, let me uh, share my screen. I don't think I'm sharing my screen. I'm sharing my screen. No. The hard part is. Um, Uh, the hard part is more or less, uh, you know, creating the database to begin with. So, um, and then adding some, you know, you can add some some people in there when you create the SQL database. And then after that, you just, you know, use the same things that we learned in Chapter 18 uh, last Tuesday. So if we um, if we uh, I'm gonna see if this is what we had for last Tuesday. Let me see what I got here for. This is what we had for last Tuesday, I think. And when we run this, we have, uh, you know, this thing here, which displays out these things. And this was the, okay, so we have sort of a uh, uh, record view here up at the top and, and the data and the data grid view here. Uh, and um, and then we have a data, the database here, it looks like this. And so, uh, and we're able to uh, select, you know, oh, it's details view, data grid view and details view. And for these things, we can put uh, text boxes, combo boxes, and so on. Uh, so 
So, um, so let's see, we went through this last Tuesday. Uh, so if, if, if we were to, to more or less duplicate the same thing, um, for, uh, for the assignment, we can do something like, uh, let's see, I, I haven't thought about this too much yet. Oh, oh uh, okay, so, so I did want to mention that I did grade your midterms. That's what I was spending my time doing this morning. So, uh, you know, for those of you that handed it in, you, you did you know, quite well. Uh, and for those of you who have not handed it in yet, I'm expecting you to do uh, equally as well uh, when you do get them in. Uh, it's, it's actually uh, the, the things that people missed were um, the, the plus minus key. You know, I tested it where I, 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 I added in minus eight and then I added it, I added 10 to minus eight and I should get two. Um, the square root key, the square root key's got to work. Some, some of these square root key didn't work. Um, some of you things like, uh, like when you typed in a number and then you hit an operator key, uh, it, it, it uh, blanked out the, the display. You know, you wanna leave the operand in the display. Uh, some of you didn't, um, didn't make it so, um, so after you do an operation, you know, like five plus two is 10, and then you start typing in again, so, some of you uh, didn't clear out, you know, it didn't, you didn't really clear out the display, you just sort of added the digits um, onto the 10. I didn't really take up any points for that, but, uh, um, but you folks in 148 did a lot better on your midterms than, than they did in 128. And I think it, that may have been because it's well, the midterm in this class was, you know, was pretty well defined. Um, I noticed that, that you, all, you all sort of made your own calculator form. All your calculator forms look, looked a little different. Um, some of you made them pretty fancy, which is always kind of nice. So, um, so anyway, uh, uh, and in, in the next, uh, probably this weekend, I'll have, have everything else. I'll, I'll finish getting caught up with the, um, uh, with the rest of your assignments. But, um, there's only going to be one more, some sort of, some sort of mid, some sort of final, final assignment uh, that's going to, um, maybe have a little bit more, be a little bit more than, than a regular assignment. And uh, it'll be a little bit more where you got a sort of, you know, think a little bit more and sort of design design a little bit more. Not so much just taking something that's in the book and modifying it a little bit. You, you know, sort of something, creating something from more from scratch. Because uh, that's something that you should be able to do leaving this class. Uh, this, this is presumably the, um, a lot of you are not going to take 228. Uh, you're just going to finish up with 148 and then, then go on and do other things. Uh, after 148, you want to be able to, uh, you know, write C sharp code, uh, you know, write some simple programs, be able to look at C sharp code, know, know where everything is in Visual Studio, uh, be able to trace, trace someone else's code reasonably well. Uh, perhaps be able to uh, fix or make some slight small modifications to somebody else's code. And then after that, it's just, you know, experience, practice and experience. So, um, 
So I was going to open up a new Visual Studio here today and see. It's been a while since I've created a database. Let me see how that might work. Create a new project. I'm not sure. Add a uh, service based database. I think is what I want to do. And uh, that's just over here. And if I go over here, I should see it. And I think I can add a table, add new table. And I'm gonna create a friends, add a friends table. Let's see, what is, what do I need to add now? I need to add a first name. Got to have an ID, and then let me add a first name. And I'll make it a Varchar, Varchar 50. Varchar 50 is fine. Don't allow no. Uh, last name. Bar char 50 is fine. Pretty long, pretty big name. And I'll add a uh, address. Make that a bar char 50. And I'll add a city. Make that a bar char 50. And I'll add a state. And I'll make that a bar char. Uh, Bar chart two. And I'll make a zip code. Bar chart ten. And I will also add a phone number and an email address. Phone, Barchar, A O A hyphen three seven nine seven four two twenty. 
12. I don't want, I don't want the call. And the last thing I'll add is email. I'll make that a bar chart 50. That's probably enough for an email. All right, so I got a nice database there. And uh, then I need to click update. So this is what the SQL, this is the um, create table statement looks like in MS SQL. And I click update. And uh, update database, I think, is what I click, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think I clicked this, do I? I don't need that. Click update database. And now I can go over here. Let me click this to pin this. And now uh, if I refresh this thing, I've got a table there. Oh, I forgot to name the table, darn it. Did I, did I rename the table? Let's see if this works. Friends. No, it does not work. What about this? Oops. Friends. Update. Uh, shoots. Forgot about that. Um, does anybody know how I changed the name of a table? Can't remember. All right. Huh? I I forgot that you gotta you gotta if you don't do it right the first time it Yeah, I'm thinking about the tooth. So, uh, why not do this twice? Why don't I do it twice? Okay, so I'm going to delete the table. Delete table. Ah, oh, it says friends now. I wonder why it does, wonder why it says friends now. Hmm. Show table definition. Hmm. Oh. More than one object is named. Use errors to remove duplicate definitions and try again. Well, really? Well, I'm going to uh, start over again.
sure there's a real easy way to fix this. Now there's a friends too. Okay, so. Um, <clears throat> all right, well, anyway, um, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to close this. There's no reason why I can't do this twice. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pin this over here, and I'm going to start this again. So let me go Visual Studio. And I'm going to say new project. And it's going to be a Windows Forms application. And I'm going to, I'm going to call it friends. OK. And uh, then I'm going to go over here, click on friends and I'm going to do a right click and do a add new item and I'm going to add a service based database and I'm going to call it friends enter And now we're going to see it over here, friends, and we're going to see it over here. And friends right now has no tables. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to add new table. And before I do anything else, right down here where it says table, I'm going to name it friends. Friends. Okay, so now I've got a table over here named friends, and uh, I'm gonna uh, make sure that I've got a, I'm gonna have a first name, archar20, last name, Last name, Archar20, uh, address, Archar50, tab, 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 uh, city, Archar20, tab, space, tab, 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 state, space, uh, tab, bar char, two, tab, space, tab, 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 state, uh, zip code, tab, bar char, 10, tab, space, tab, 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 uh, phone number, phone, bar char, parentheses 12, and parentheses tab, space, tab, 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 email, tab, bar char, 50, tab, space. Okay, so now I've got a nice table here. And it's named and it's named friends. All right. Now I can click on update and I can click on update database to see if that works.
Let me go over here and click refresh, and there it is, friends. All right, now uh, I'm going to right click and I'm going to show table data. And it doesn't have anything in here. Now, now let's see. I've never, I can't remember how this works. Let's see if I can just start adding. I'm not going to do anything. Oh, shoots. I want this to be. I want this. Um, I don't suppose I can change anything over here now. I want it to be identity increment. No, I can't change it, can I? Let me go back to um, open table definition and ID. Can I? Over here, ID, identity specification, is identity true, auto, identity increment one, identity seed one. Okay, so this will be the uh, surrogate key. Yeah. So I think I need to update this, update database. All right, I hope this works. All right, let me uh, try to uh, add. All right, this did not work, did it? Refresh this. Ah, it did work. Okay, so um, so that works. Uh, all right, great. So now let me go back to the form here. And can I, uh, what happens if I, how did we, Let me open up the other, the other one here. It might have been a. Different kind of format. Ah, maybe it's because it's MDF. Yes. Yeah, so this is the table definition of that.
no idea. All right, that's what that is. Okay, so let me go back to here and I'm going to go view other windows, data source, shift all D, add a new data source, database, next, data set, next. That's what I want to do. Next, next. And I'm going to do all of the friends. And I'm going to finish. And now I've got this data sources. Friends, and I can go like this and go data grid view. Drag that over here. Got the data grid view here. And I can also do a details view just gonna have way more stuff I better uh, Yeah, 
maybe I should do this instead. I need this in one. So you can have something like this. And something like this, I guess. Actually, this should probably be across the top, shouldn't it? Anyway, let me see what this looks like on the left. So there's somebody. And uh, so we don't add a second one here, uh, Joe Schmo. One, two, three, four, Main Street, Honolulu, Hawaii, nine, six, eight, one, three, eight, oh, eight, five, 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 one, two, one, two, show at Hawaii.edu. Does that work? First name does not allow nulls. Okay, I know why that was. Oh, it's because we tabbed it. Okay, well, anyway, uh, while I fiddle with this, you can, um, you sort of get the idea. Um, and you can read, uh, chap this is the chapter 18. Uh, uh, this is, uh, you, you, you should be able to read chapter 18 and, and uh, figure out the solution to this. I'm going to work on this. And uh, so, uh, Basically, that's what I'm, I'm asking you to do for assignment 10. And so it's basically just to get that to run. So you have a assignment, assignment 9, which basically does this in XML. 
and assignment, which is a which is a different kind of problem because I ask you to do some other stuff, uh, slightly different stuff. And then assignment ten, it's it's uh, it's same same data set, but in SQL. So um, I don't think we have anybody online right now. Um, um, are there any questions here? Has anybody been working on this thing? You might be working on some other stuff, but anyway, so so I'm gonna uh, sign off here. It's 2.43 anyway, and, uh, and, and we can pick this up uh, Thursday. I'll probably have some slight enhancements and um, I will have completed this, this assignment and I can share, share what I come up with with you folks. So, but, uh, so what I've shown you today is how to create, how to create the database in SQL, which you might, which you might have known how to do already if you've taken 129, and how to create a data set then. Go to uh, View, uh, Other Windows, Data Sources, and you create this data set so you are able to uh, take advantage of the nice fancy features in Visual Studio uh, by just dragging dragging uh, them over here to a form and you have this stuff set up already. And uh, you may want to experiment around allowing null fields. I, when I created this friends database, I did not allow nulls, and, and maybe you want to do that. <coughs> um, but it's easy to start over, as you saw that I did. All right, so um, I will I will sign off here, and I'll see you on Thursday. Thanks for watching.